and Pearson was there as Terry was captured, and we're going back to her live now. So, uh, Liliana, tell us what it was like out there. So it was a pretty exciting scene, it seemed like, for the law enforcement agencies that were there. You know, they've been out there for nearly a week, hundreds of them, multiple agencies working together. I was sitting just a little ways away from the staging area, um, waiting for the latest update. We were waiting on the sheriff to come over and give us new information, and that's all of a sudden when we heard cheering and shouting. I stepped out and asked one of the public information officers there if they got him. He made a quick phone call and was able to tell us that they did, in fact, have him. At that point, we were waiting just to find out if anyone was heard at that point. Of course, we did learn later on that uh, it seemed like he was taken in fairly easily. Nobody hurt in that exchange. Uh, and at that point, it seemed like all the helicopters were coming back. The cars were starting to come back, especially as they brought Terry back to get his uh, evaluation after being out in the sun for the last week or so. Uh, so right now, we're at the Chester County Jail. This is where he's supposed to be coming right now, and we're waiting for him to get here. Of course, as soon as that happens, hopefully we'll be able to join you with that. All right, thanks, Liliana. And again, uh, no shots were fired uh, during this capture, and that is the good news that no one was injured during the capture. All right, thanks, Liliana. We'll check back with you coming up in just a little bit. Meanwhile